Hello y'all, this is Bleeding Blades, a Roblox game based on the Mount and Blade series and inspired from Blood and Iron, a Roblox Napoleonic Wars game which is also based on Mount and Blade in a way. Bleeding Blades features a wipeout game mode between two teams, but with that said, this game is focused on portraying medieval and ancient battles. Gunpowder is not here, so we're in the map Siege of Helicarnarsus, we're playing as the Kingdom of Macedon, we're up against the Persian Empire, we are a Phalangelite, there are different classes in this game, Phalangelites in real life, they're like the foot soldiers of Alexander the Great's army, they have spears, they do the poke thing with the spears, just stab, and we also have a short sword with a shield we can use with that, we can use that shield with our Sarisa, I think it's called, we have this huge massive spear we can use to push back enemies at a distance. So let's get up here on this ram. We can help push the ram, I think. We're here, so we just gotta watch out for the Persians who may jump down on top of us. We have a very small shield compared to some of our brethren. There are different classes in this game, but this is just a phalangelite experience. And so we're battling, we're at the gates. Now we gotta wait for any Persians who may jump down to attack us, but we'll see what they do. Just keep the shield up and be on the lookout for any attacks, because they will possibly do that. There's a guy firing over there with his bow. And I think this battle was won by Alexander the Great, and this was just a small battle in his great campaign into the Persian Empire. Helicarnarsus is located, it's an ancient city located in what would be nowadays western Turkey. Enemies up here, maybe. Enemies, there's an enemy. Use this little compass sword. Take care of this guy. Took out a Persian archer, Persian bowman who didn't expect anything coming to get him. So let's head up to the top. Anything up here? Clear. Oh no, that's a lot of Persians. That is a lot of Persians. They're like Greek mercenaries, maybe. I know the Persians employed Greek mercenaries, but I don't know to what extent they had them. There's our allies. Our teammates are coming up here. Just gotta hold. Hold this little corner to my allies get here. We got the numbers game now. One Persian jumped. Well, Greek mercenary. He's getting this guy's in a corner. He is stuck. Just take him out. Yeah, he's gone. We got him. They're climb back down because you can take fall damage in this. That is a very much of a possibility that can happen. And we gotta keep looking for any type of Persian resistance. But they are going down against our armored soldiers. Where is this Persian down here? We got him. And there's an enemy, maybe there's that. He has a javelin, I think he's throwing at us. Doesn't matter, we're gonna charge up on him. You can't sprint in this game, I think. But we do have, I zoomed in too much. I don't know what happened there. Let's get closer. Can you change the view? We can crouch. No, we can do that. You use Q to change the shield in and out. Use the spear, let's use that spear we got. Maybe that can be in handy. He coming in handy here, we got him, doesn't matter. Let me see, I'm just messing with controls. We can zoom in with shift, get a better view. There's a Persian down there, looks like an archer. He is just running all over the place, and he may die soon. It looks like the Kingdom of Macedon has crushed the Persians. There's one guy running to our battlements, just trying to evade a huge Greek force. Did the guy jump off and die? No, he survived. We gotta be very careful here. Oh, never mind. Oh, I just jumped off that guy. <laughs> Land on top of him. We're fine, though. Where is the... Let me ask my team. Are we winning? Are we winning? I didn't even spell winning correctly. Good job, me. Good job. I said, are we... Are we... I didn't even... I just forgot the we part in my... Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go find this last Persian left. And he's gonna be dead very soon. I think he's in a siege tower. Yeah, he's in that siege tower. And Chad is saying, fight them like a man. I mean, he's the last person alive, so what can he do? Just jump up here. There's a dead guy. Is he ours? Go to the top of the tower. I guess he's up here, maybe? Jump this guy. He jumped off. Oh, no. I survived. I fell. At a great height, but I'm alive. There's a Persian right there. Light infantry, light Persian infantry. Get the Sarisa out. 
Come on. Come back here. Somebody's throwing a javelin, maybe. Come on, come back here. What are you doing? Combat in this game, it is directional. Like, if you have your mouse to the bottom, it goes to the bottom. Like, if you aim low, it goes low. If you aim high, it goes high. But anyway, we're chasing after this Persian, and he's making a dash for it. And we're just trying to run him down. Come on. We can't run, so we're just sort of chasing this guy for what feels like all eternity. And this is... Come on, get back here. Let's shield out. He is just running. He is going to drain out the clock. Can he do it for so long, though? He's just going. He is gone. And the game is over. The Kingdom of Macedon has won a close victory. And we're going to try and change class this time. Can we do that? Can we do that? Is map going to change? I don't know. I don't think it is. Can I change my class? Not at settings. Spectate. Logs. Can I change class though? I'm not sure what button I'd have to do. R. Can I reset? I want to change class. That's what I want to do. I don't know if I can do that. Whatever, we'll just play one more round as Macedon. Because they are pretty cool. I mean, Alexander the Great is a historical winner of Siege of Heliconosis, I think. Unless I am I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I think he would have won because, honestly, Alexander the Great, he won a lot of battles. I don't think he lost any at all. He got on the ram. Let's get moving here. And we're going to roll out with our gang of Macedonian soldiers. And the ram is moving forward. I get... I don't know how this works. I guess we just have to get down here and push. That's how it works. Oh, you have to interact with it. That's how that works. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Let's see what the chat is doing. Okay. Pop quiz. What is the op weapon? OP weapon is spear. It has distance. Yes, that makes clear sense. Best weapon in history is the spear. How can you ever get any... You reach pinnacle of warfare. How can you ever get any better when you have a giant spear that's like eight feet long? I'm sure it was a probably huge pain to carry because that thing... I can't imagine having to carry this and having to shove, having to push it forward. That is, I can't imagine that. Phalangelites or something else. I think they beat the Hoplites and the Hoplites. Then the Phalangelites sort of were crushed by the Legionnaires because Legionnaires had more flexibility. But I'm going on a historical tangent. We're at the wall. And let's get the shield out. Persians are up there. Might be safer to stay in the ram. They are pushing forward the ram. Hell, oh, cool, they have a whole animation for that. That's nice. A uh, whole siege ram animation I gotta keep using. Oh, it's all... It's done! I get on it just as it finishes it. That makes sense. So we're through the gate. Let's charge in with our group of men. Let's find the Persians. Let's get the Sarisa out. Cut the Sarisa. Cut up these steps. And we're going to fight our way up these steps, possibly. Depends what the Persians are going to do, honestly. Got their shield out. We got our allies coming in. Did some damage there, 28 damage. Using our spear. We're trying to use our spear here. The Sarisa did some damage there. 40 damage. It is working. And as soon as they get out of that shielded... Javelin, javelin, javelin. Ow. Took a hit from the javelin. Just get switch. Melee. Come in. Hit them. Did that guy fall off? Did he die? No, he survived that whole ordeal. He just jumped off, though. That guy, Greek mercenary type looking guy, got destroyed, though. There's a Persian. Let's go at him. Take that out. That guy is running. He is running. I got three guys. I took some damage. Fall damage. I fell down. I gotta get back up. Let's go after this guy. Take out the Sarisa. He is running for it. It would be cool if this game had cavalry, though it might be a little bit overpowered, considering how... I don't know. I don't know, maybe. If you had tons of spearmen, I don't think cavalry would be great. But I don't know. It'd be good for mobility, because a lot of these guys, they just run around, and you can't just go after them, because you all move at the same speed. 
Did some damage there. Did some damage. Come on, need some damage. Did some damage. I think I got the kill, maybe? We got him, though. Another kill for Mastodon. Is that guy just sitting up there? What is he doing? Did he get hit by arrows? Maybe just he's sitting down there because I don't know what happened there. We just gotta find this Persians. The Persians are dying all over the place. And Mastodon just has armor, I guess. I don't know why the Persians don't do very well. They just don't do well. I mean, I'm basing that off of one game, but it just seems that... I took fall damage again. At least on this map. I don't know. I mean, I do like... One thing I will say is that I do like the period accurate uniforms. A great effort was made to make all these soldiers look accurate, I reckon. Which is pretty nice. It makes it very immersive as far as Roblox games go. Let's go look for a... Where's the Persians at? that? We need to find the Persians. Where are the Persians? 27 versus 21. That may explain why we're winning. Need to find the Persians. Need to find any kind of Persians. We have three guys here. Well, that's us. Four of us. A lot of Greeks. Macedon, whatever. Greece, whatever. Five Macedonians still alive. Flangelite. And another class. We're gonna find these last couple of Persians. And a guy apparently. Chat is saying that the guy is at spawn. So we gotta look for him. Why wait until nine minutes? He's ran out of arrows. It's a Persian with no arrows. Oh, he killed one of us. I think he did. He's gonna make his last stand. Keeps firing. I've got a very big shield. He could aim at me. He can't aim. He's not hitting anything, though. We're just charging in at him. Get out the spear, because why not? We have no shield, but just poke him to death. Okay, break out the sword. He's gonna block that. He ran into a wall. Can't block. Block. You're not blocking the right way. He's backing up constantly. I'm going to get this kill. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to get this kill in verse person. I will do it. He did some damage to me. Where is he at? Oh, we got him. Very good. And we are victorious. This has been just one map of Bleeding Blades. Check out the game in the video description and if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe